Hello everyone, TNG here, back with episode 4 of my Jack and Daxter playthrough. Alrighty, last time we left off, we opened the way up there, but uh, I think we're going to go back. Actually, it might even be better to go down on the floor so I can avoid this nasty little area here. Um, unfortunately, yeah, I'm down to like one health, but that's fine. We can jump down here. Okay. Ooh, look at that. There's a power cell. I wonder how dangerous that is out there to get. Ow. Oh, I died. Oh, man, that's wonderful, isn't it? Ah, I love fish. Um, well, now we know about the power cell, we can always just go this way, which seems like the better idea. Right, so it's basically, you got to learn the patterns of everything and re react accordingly. Now, the question I, I'm having here is, I wonder if getting, what was it, 50 um, green eco? without having any damage taken increases your health or not that's the, that's what i want to know so what we're going to do is wait for this and then go in for the attack too easy click these and oh we're going to jump around to get a uh scout fly i assume yeah i can't turn the camera which is fantastic i i can't aim properly and the yeah i know you need to use the bloody Roll jump to get over there. I know that for sure. I knew. I, I freaking knew it. Uh, I look, I think that's correct. Oh, wow. I rolled off it before I could jump. All right. We'll try that again. Just one more time. But I'm, I'm pretty sure you have to use the roll jump. And I think that's the correct. Okay. You can't actually do it. I don't think. Maybe you have to use this, uh, this vent or whatever it's, it is. So we'll wait until that's cleared up and try that so it looks like for the most part i need the vent to be open so i think what we might do is actually go off and, and actually do that boss now that i have died so i've got the full health again where does this lead actually actually never mind this leads directly up to it i don't know why i didn't see this just before but whatever i'm happy with this this is fine let's blow this open get the scout fly jump back Okay, so we, we already know where another power cell is. We know where a few more precursor orbs are down in the water, obviously. But now, for the most part, I think what I need to do is go and activate the... Uh, I think it's... What, what, what did it say under here again? Uh, unblock the eco beam. Right, is what I need to go do. Um, I'm assuming that's basically just defeat the boss. I hope it tells me the boss's pattern, though. That's what I need to know. Um... If anything, because uh, I'm pretty sure I need to get 50, don't I? Is that, isn't that right? Or was it 100? 50 doesn't seem to do anything. It doesn't even reset me back to 1. Now, the question is, there wasn't another way back up there. I actually have to go this way, if I'm not mistaken. Which is fine. I just didn't like the... I think I have to use the roll jump to get through this. I just... I could be mistaken. Ah, didn't quite make that timing, unfortunately. But I think I had the right idea. Okay. Oh, my health was restored because I actually had 50 on me. Right. Well, that's good to know. I guess in that respect, I should probably go and do this. Click these uh, green orbs here. I think I actually might need to use the vent. So we're going to do that. Just in case the door itself needs to be opened with the eco. Which is obviously probably a necessity. Wonderful timing on that. Yeah. You reckon? Oh, okay. So I actually need to use the blue eco. Right. So, oh, look. It actually gives me blue eco. That's nice. I kind of wanted to use that trampoline, but I guess I can do that later. Um, I think I made it at the top there. But what was over here again? Oh, okay. It's just a, basically it opens it up. Okay. Uh, we've got some blue eco, but we're just going to use the vent. And we'll use whatever this is. Okay, I missed it. I didn't realise I had to actually move my character myself. Alright, there we go. Alright, pretty cool stuff. This is interesting. I guess the park where I was seeing was actually this. I feel like I really need to actually explore this tower without being pressured by having the... Oh, okay. Never mind. There's actually a power cell at the top here regardless. That's pretty cool. Hmm. Alright then. So what do we do now? Is that... Was that just the power cell? Oh, look at that. It actually heads down to the bottom. Okay. 
Cool. Alright, and so what happens if I die? Do I get an easy access back to here again? You'd be joking, right? You've got to be joking. What, did I run out of eco? Yep. Right, okay. That's obviously death beneath me, by the way, in case you could not tell. What the hell? I, I turned around. That was really weird. I hope these platforms don't fall. They wouldn't fall, would they? Ah, uh, this is going to be an interesting one. So I have to get all the um, precursor orbs by just... Oh, yeah, yeah, that's going to be annoying, actually. Okay, that's kind of rough, actually. Alright. Uh, it's relatively easy. It's just kind of... Yeah, timing it. A little bit difficult, but that's fine. Not so bad. Alright, we'll collect all those. And another power cell, just like that, huh? Nice. Jeez, they're just handing them out right now, aren't they? That was bad timing for me. <laughs> I still got it, but that wasn't the smartest idea I've ever had. Alright, let's collect this little beauty. Yeah, they're just giving them right out to me, honestly. This is obviously... Mu this must be the first level. I mean, I think the beach is more difficult. There we go. Now we've got some eco vents. There we go. Yeah, okay. Right. So there are... Um, okay, I remember now. So this has turned them on all over the world. Uh, this, that was probably the worst idea to go. I should go back to here. Let's fill up and try and run. Oh. That camera angle, though. Alright, this leads me back to the front. Okay, and this opens up the door to the next part. Huh. So... I've got a limited amount of time, do I? Wait. Oh, it just turns by its own accord. I, I thought that Blue Eco was turning it around, so that's good to know. Alright, we'll jump over here. Use the jump pad, I guess? Oh, wow. Damn. That's awesome. Uh, but I'm probably going to run out of Blue Eco now. Uh, I think there'll be some more if I need it, honestly. No, there we go. So this is the boss. Right, what am I supposed to do to kill it? That's the question I want to know. Is this thing going to come for me or not? I am kind of concerned. It is not. Alright, well, I guess the only way to figure out how to defeat the boss is to go over there and uh, have a look-see. I'm guessing walk into the boss is a good idea, I would assume. You know? Okay, that kind of gives it away. I'm assuming it's a three-hit sort of thing. So we'll give that a go. Okay, he can eat me as well. That's good to know. Right, so avoid his attacks and avoid his little minions. Oh, they actually closed the door again. That's mean. Yep, that was my own... That was my own fault. Of course it was my own fault. I didn't even think to time that properly then. Got to check this just in case. Nothing, okay. Well, oh, there we go. Wait for this. Jump over here. Jump over here and not die. Dumb. Yep, there we go. Alright. Jump. Oh, wow. It actually got rid of my blue eco instantly. As soon as the battle started. Alright, so this is going to be an interesting fight. I need to... Ah, oh, wow. Terrible. Right, I need to avoid being eaten. So, it looks like basically he just increases the amount of uh, little guys that he spawns and then he... I wonder how many times he attacks you personally, though. That's what I need to figure out. Right. Ah, indefinitely? Yeesh, that's nasty. Oh, no, he... Oh, right, he attacked... He attacked before he did the thing. Okay. Well, practice makes perfect, I guess. Alright. I'm dying against such a simple mechanic, though. I'm just so not used to these controls. I think that's the major problem. Alright. Jump over... Jeez. Oh, Alright, cool. At least we can do the spin attack in the air. I wonder if I can ward against ward off his attacks by actually spin attacking it as he dives in for me. Huh. Guess I don't really know. Oh. Oh, he can only reach so far. So if I stay out of his range and just have a look, can he reach? How far can he reach? That's what I need to know. I need to know if he can reach all the way back. So I need to stay back here and just see if he can reach. That's what I want to find out. Can he reach? He cannot. So I can literally just stand here and. 
hopefully... Yeah, okay. That seems pretty legit. Alright, we'll try this method out. Okay. only thing I'm concerned about is how... Okay. Oh, come on. Oh, one more. I'm going to get hit there. And he's going to transform up here. The question is how many times do I actually have to hit him? That's the, the kicker. More than three. Oh, no. Wow, three times? Huh. I need to get the timing right on these moves, though, because I'm getting hit by those little guys, and I really shouldn't be. A silver trophy? Really? Whatever. All right, well, that guy's dead. Let's jump up here and see what we get as reward. Bunch of those. Aha! It's back here. Interesting. Hmm. But now I've got blue eco and I'm wasting it. There's a vent over there. There's a scout fly that I can get. Okay. There's a few different things I can do. Now, is that activated over there? I reckon it probably is. I think that's a jump pad, though. Which means I think I need to have... What is that? Is that a jump pad or not? I need to figure that out real quick. Let's have a look here. What is this? I don't know what that is. I really have no idea. So I should probably try and figure that out. But we'll just collect all this here real quick. And um, I guess we can go and get that scout fly for a start. And then I guess the best next best thing is to head back over that way. Um, because there was another platform with another snake over there, if I'm not mistaken. So we can go do that. But um, what we'll do is we'll head over this way. We'll finish up this part. And then head down the bottom. Uh, we'll get that power cell down the bottom. And yeah, we'll see what happens from there. Alright. So I want to try and get to... How do I get to there? That's the question. Okay. Am I supposed to jump off the edge or something like that? Hmm. I'll have to figure that out. Alright, um, can I just, really? Wow, okay, sure, whatever, fine by me, see if I care. Okay. Okay, it's, the timing on this move is very awkward. It, because it doesn't activate straight away, like, the ability to kill enemies. But, it only lasts for so long, so it's really about a lot of timing. Okay, what we're going to do is just run through here. Now the question is... Hmm. I don't know, that seems very easy to do. That, I don't know. What, what's the threat from doing this supposed to be? That's what I want to know. Because I honestly, I wouldn't think that a shark could get me from here, but who knows. I'm going to get this blue eco again. Um, and then we're going to get those, power, those uh, precursor orbs easier. I think that's the idea here. Just because they're easy to collect by... I don't know how to dive, actually. Let's see. Okay, like this. Okay, pretty easy stuff. As long as it's not too difficult. Yeah, there we go. Cool. Alright, well, we'll head back this way, then. Um, avoid the little piranha guy. We don't need to deal with him yet. Uh, okay, so we need blue eco for that, which we can do from here. But let's explore the rest of the down, down area down here. The down area down here. Can I please get that? Thank you. Alright. And we'll run along here. Collect all these. Some more dark eco. Alright. Kill you as well. Alright. So we've got some sort of um, d uh, blue eco thing here that we need to activate somehow. Uh, we need to get the scout fly without activating the dark eco. Can we? There we go. Where does that lead? Basically, through a bunch more piranhas. <laughs> Don't really necessarily lead anywhere important. Where does this take me? Alright, jump up here. So it leads basically back up to the up to here. Okay. Well, that's good to know. So what I want to try and do now is... Oh, let's go get these real quick. I want to get that, that vent that was over near the bridge and come down to the, this to get some precursor. Wait. Does that actually... Yeah, because there's nothing above me. I wonder... I know it's going to give me precursor orbs for sure. I can't remember... Because I, I thought that... I don't know. I think it opens up and brings them out. Yeah. Right, so we're going to jump over here. We're going to go to that vent. And then we're going to rush our way down to that. But you know what? We're going to do that next episode. So thank you so much for watching episode 4 of my Jack and Daxter playthrough. Hope you enjoyed watching. And have a good day.